YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to make coins with Foot Birthday Team 2. We'll look at some investments, some trading methods. We're also going to be looking at what is happening with leaks and what content to expect in the next couple days. But before we get into all that, we're going to talk about content today on Thursday. If you want to have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Thursday was very basic. It's just rival rewards, marquee matchups. That's usually it. We did know of a player SBC that was supposed to come out. That was Grimaldo. And he was fairly solid. Definitely a solid SBC. Grimaldo, some link investments to him rose. And some left backs came down a little bit. Like, I didn't look at too many of them. But I know Matson, the Bundesliga Dortmund left back, the fantasy card. That card came down in price really solid. He cost about 85,000 coins, so he's cheap. 84, 85 overall squad, and he's four-star skills, five-star weak foot, high, high work rates. It's a good card, good play styles. It's, it's solid. It's just, I, it's good, but there's like, think of how many left backs we've had on this game. There's Baca, there's Kai Havertz, there's Alfonso Davies, there's Roberto Carlos, there's this Grimaldo, there's Rofo. There's so many left backs that people have. Um, it's just, I don't know. There's been just a lot of player SBCs. So not sure how many people are going to actually go out, do this card and get him into their teams, especially with so many people having that Rofo. That Rofo, I played a couple games with her. She's nasty. She is nasty. Now the other SBC of today, Thursday, marquee matchups, not going to spend too much time on it. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, simple as that. So, uh, one big thing I want to get into today is rival rewards. I talked about rival rewards, telling you guys how you probably want to have your stuff sold, your fodder investments, your 84s, your 85s, your 86s, before content drop on Thursday. You want to sell your fodder before Thursday. Not before content drop on Thursday, like before Thursday. So, sell your fodder on Wednesday. And that was because of rival rewards. Rival rewards changed, and it's really solid. If you get into elite division rivals the tradable rewards you can take untradable but it's 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 really good so the supply on thursdays we didn't want to risk holding stuff into thursday we wanted to sell see how everything goes and that was the good idea because this was this was crazy but it's i think kind of a blueprint to how we can potentially be trading every Thursday now. So I want to share with you guys, you can look at pretty much every single fodder. I think you're going to see this, but the 85s were the ones definitely impacted the most. So if we go yesterday, technically today, Thursday, I'm filming this video late. It was game day. Apologies for that. Uh, but 85s before rival rewards were 8,500 coins. Rival rewards hits. Look at the drop off, the amount of supply. One of the packs that you get from rival rewards is an 85 plus times seven. I believe that's what it is. 85 plus times seven and it's tradable. So a lot of supply. You see these 85s go from 8,500 all the way down to 6,400 pretty much. And they've rebounded back up, but they were down here for a few hours. Even at content drop, they were 6,500 coins. So uh, in the future, let's keep an eye. I think Thursday is going to be a really big trading day. And it wasn't just fodder. It, we saw fodder come down. We saw team of the weeks come down. We saw special cards come down. Promo cards came down. Someone like the re-release cards. I told you guys in the previous video, let's watch these re-release cards. Let's see if Thursday rival rewards, if these cards can come down in price. Someone like Nkunku. I was watching in Cuckoo. I said, hey, if he comes back down close to 90K, buy him. He actually went below 90,000 coins down to 86K. This dude's been chilling around 100K. So I picked one up for 90,000 coins and I'm listing him up for like 99K. I'll make like four or 5K profit on the card. Uh, another one that I liked a lot was Musiala because this guy's basically just fodder price. And looking at Musiala, this dude was 45K, 45,000 coins. You can see right here, he was even lower he was down at almost 43 so like 44,000 coins and if we look at him on wednesday all day wednesday the dude was above 50k so thursday rival rewards i think going forward our wednesday youtube videos going to be very helpful going over everything to keep an eye on what we can be buying i think with rival rewards on thursday it's going to be a great day to buy promo cards before they go out of packs it's going to be a great day to potentially flip some fodder if we look at this fodder let's say 
whatever fodder gets required this week with, we always get an SBC that refreshes every single day. Whatever fodder gets required in that SBC and it just keeps going up in price every day. If we see that fodder dip on Thursday because of rival rewards, let's buy the dip and then just sell Thursday night or Friday morning because we just saw it with these 85s. They rebounded. Let's look at these 86s. What happened with these? You can see it on a good amount of this fodder. Look, they were 9,300 coins, dropped down to 8,000, and they're right back up over 9,000 coins. So as you can see, there's definitely profit to be made on Thursdays, I think, with Rival Rewards. So very interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to it because it's like a little, I mean, not. I guess, yeah, you could say midweek thing for us to be making coins before Friday in the weekend comes around with new promos. So that's is the update thursday rival rewards um we bought quite a few cards if you're in the discord by the way if you want to join the vip trading discord all you got to do is sub to the twitch channel if you guys have amazon prime you could sub to the twitch channel for free and join the vip trading discord for free the link to my twitch and my trading discord description down below so uh some of the posts that we made we talked about some of these these got so low these foot birthdays i said buy them for 21k or less uh, they're back up around 23,000 coins already. And they were on bid. Like no one was even bidding on them. I was looking at a Sorloth expired at 20 K. No one even bid on it. So, uh, really easy to pick some of these cards up today. That was posted in the VIP. Uh, we posted that was a couple days ago. So we talked about those, the risky flips. I just posted the Inkunku 90 K the Musiala, you can see here, 45K. It was pretty easy to pick these cards up. And um, they're already up in price. I'm lazy listing them. That's the VIP Discord. And we're going to have more investments, obviously, this weekend because it's the weekend. The weekend is one of the best times to be investing on this game. Uh, so that's Rival Rewards. Now, before we get into the investments, I want to go over one thing really quickly. Leaks. What is happening with leaks? Are they finished? It's very interesting. So we got a loading screen today. The loading screen came out and the obvious player is Mo Salah. And then you would guess the other one is Pele. It could be someone else, but you would guess it's Pele. But that one is obviously going to be Mo Salah. You're not going to put any other. I can't think of any other Egyptian player you would put on the front loading screen um, with those stats as well. Because the loading screen is always like the best players the top players so um looking at leaks we have that loading screen and the only leaks we have at the moment is mo salah that's it so tomorrow i would assume we're going to get a leak and it's going to be from maybe one of these news uh, i don't know what to call them gaming articles whatever the hell it is mirror gaming and if we look at them, they've already posted their, this is a prediction, it's not their leak. But if we go back and look at last week, what it seems like EA are doing, they're, it seems like they're cracking down on leaks. And they're saying, all right, we're going to give it to this news company and we'll give it to them early and we'll tell them when they can release it. And then that's how we're going to crack down on leaks. Because we saw last week, the Mirror, Mirror Gaming, they tweeted out foot birthday team one and then once they tweeted it out all the leak accounts went and started to tweet so it seems like ea are, are cutting out leaks and um it's it's interesting because there's no leaks at the moment there are there are no leaks and i love it it's it's very good not knowing what sbc is coming who's in the team it's exciting i someone was replying to my tweet today because i tweeted about leaks and they said I remember the times when we would get a loading screen and they would hint towards certain players. There'd be coordinates on the loading screen. And if you put those coordinates in, it would show a location and it would be where a player was born or where their stadium is. And it's, it, I, it used to be really fun and exciting. And when it gets leaked, it just, it takes some of the excitement away. But uh, just something I wanted to mention in this tweet is to clarify we received the FC24 team one, birthday team one, from EA. Uh, we had a 12 p.m. embargo, basically meaning we got it early. They said we cannot tweet it out until 12 p.m. And um, yeah, that's that's it. So keep an eye out on Mirror Gaming tomorrow if you want to find out what the team is early. And it seems like 
I mean, leaks might be done. And I, I hope it stays this way. Please, EA, keep it that way because leaks are garbage. They've ruined the game. Now, market update investments. Sorry, big intro, but there's a lot of stuff with the rival rewards and the leaks. It's really interesting. Tomorrow morning, we'll see what we get with leaks. I'd say a few hours before content drop, we get some tweet from Mirror Gaming or one of those accounts. Now, um, market update fantasy cards. What's going on with them? They're still way less fought than fodder price like it's ridiculous marmouche is a 90 overall card and he's basically 10k less than 90 overall cards it's stupid um also quick update the fantasy heroes the yaya tori the wesley schneider ea have not tweeted about it so i don't know compensation at the moment anything coming we'll see they've compensated stuff like this previously so i would expect some sort of compensation um fodder was all sold meta cards guys meta cards be very careful if you have meta cards in your team i've i've told you guys since before foot birthday you really don't want to hold any tradable meta players in your team going into foot birthday and guess what foot birthday team two point still stands especially look at this my webcam's in the way i'll move it this is best of re-release team one you can see oh no this is oh oh i'm clicking a bunch of different buttons oh i lost it now right here five star best of team one available for 15 hours three minutes guess what we should be getting tomorrow a five star best of team two so players especially if you have players in your team with five star weak foot or five star skill moves if they come back into packs they can crash in price so just once again what buttons am I pressing right now? I am... Okay, let me... Ah. Uh, well, I got to move my camera back manually, and that's going to mess up a lot of stuff. Okay, well, that stinks. All right, so, yeah, just be very careful is basically what I'm trying to say with any five star players you have in your team like if we go and, and check it out this is what could happen to players in your team if you have any that are tradable that are five star skill moves or five star weak foot in kunku that 90k is there i'd go buy that in kunku ninety seven thousand coins pretty much this dude before he got re-released into packs was 560 almost 600k so um yeah, you could get cooked. Just be very careful is what I'm trying to say. So there's re-release. Be careful with that. Now, investments. We already talked about fodder. We sold our fodder. You guys know we talked about team of the weeks. We bought some of those re-release cards. That was good if you have any of them. Just keep lazy listing them. They go out of packs tomorrow. Now, uh, team of the weeks. Really easy. You can buy them today. You can buy them tomorrow. You can buy them whenever you want. I don't think anything's really going to require team of the weeks tomorrow. So if you do want to wait till tomorrow, that's fine. They're currently 24,000 coins. And tomorrow on Friday, just buy them. I think it's as simple as that. And um, for team of the weeks to rise, they need to be required. We've talked about this so many times before. If team of the weeks don't get required, guess what? They're not going to rise. They need to get required to rise. It's as simple as that. When do they get required? It's usually on Saturday. Usually Saturday is when we get the SBC that refreshes every single day. And that's the SBC we need to come out to require team of the weeks. Right now, the reason why team of the weeks are so low is because the SBC refreshing every day that we got on Saturday is the 82 plus times 20. Guess what? There's no team of the week requirement in this SBC. So team of the weeks have come down from 40 plus thousand coins to 24K. So what we're doing is just hoping on Saturday we get some sort of SBC like an 83 times 10 and 84 times 5. We just need an SBC on Saturday to require Team of the Weeks refreshing daily. If we don't get that, Team of the Weeks are probably going to come down a little bit more, especially because it's in, uh, it's a hero weekend. We just had the Icon SBC, so on Sunday we're getting a hero SBC. No one really cares, cares about heroes, so Team of the Week requirement-wise there it's not really going to move team of the weeks too much so we really need something to come out on saturday requiring team of the weeks if we get nothing they're going to drop if we get something they're going to rise it's as simple as that but i'm okay with buying and just holding and just waiting for team of the weeks to get required because i know at some point they will get required and they should go up a good amount i would love to see another repeatable icon sbc that would be crazy i don't remember the last time that came out if it came out on friday or saturday but an SBC like that would make Team of the Weeks go insane. 
it would go nuts. If if that came out tomorrow on Friday, I hope it it wouldn't. But you, you might maybe you want to buy team of the weeks now to be careful. But that would make team of the weeks go crazy. So that's team of the weeks. Um, you're gonna want to buy them in the lower twenty thousands. That's what I'm guessing. Like right now, they're 24K. Anything below 24K, honestly, is, is fine. I'd buy it. Anything below 24K. Will they maybe go lower tomorrow on Friday, like 22? Maybe on bids? Probably. Maybe even 21 if you're lucky. But um, I, I definitely think they're going to be a decent buy because they're cheap. And if you just buy Team of the Weeks and wait for something to come out, like an 83 times 10, that's perfect. That's the best SBC. 83 times 10 on Saturday, that's perfect. That is exactly what you would want. Um and yeah that's it because i don't think anything oh does this refresh tomorrow maybe this refreshes tomorrow but i don't know oh no one cares about that no one cares about that one is this one this sbc icon refreshes on saturday so I, there's like nothing really requiring team of the weeks at the moment so i don't know what's really going to make them rise tomorrow on friday so definitely uh picking up team of the weeks tomorrow easy for sure. And if you want to know what price to buy, I'll be live tomorrow. Like I kind of just gave a guess, but I will be live tomorrow on Friday. So if you come join the live stream, I'll probably put something below here or in the bottom left corner saying what price to buy team of the weeks for. So that's team of the weeks. Um, we talked about the re-release cards. We already bought those though. So that ship kind of sailed. Now content tomorrow. I think there's going to be coins to make that content drop tomorrow. This kind of goes back to the leak situation. So no leaks really. We saw with uh Komon and other I guess you could say other player SBCs that came out later in the week but we we didn't know what player SBCs were leaked so at content drop tomorrow if we get a player SBC and it's really good value we don't have leaks we don't know so if we don't know who the player SBC is going into content drop and it comes out it's really good value buy links to that card like Kingsley Komon Upam Makano went up a ton he rose a ton sell quickly after into the rise but um definitely don't continue to hold but definitely profit to be made and then also investing in some of the new promo cards or the re-release cards at content drop look at what cards get a special and then it's like hey they're out of packs go buy their goals let's see how some of those cards did if we look at someone like putelas how has she done recently i have no idea how she did we're, we're gonna find out how did she do when she went mm, she didn't move too crazy she did not move too crazy. Let's look at someone like Nkunku maybe. Nkunku got a special card. How did his gold do? Nkunku's gold is 12,750 coins and 86 overall cards are 9K. So definitely potential profit. I'd say the low risk ones would be buying some of the fodder. So say like we know Mo Salah is getting a card, but that shit probably sailed. I'm assuming this dude's up in price. He's 2675. How much was he earlier? He was going for 22, 23. So that ship probably sailed because people know he's coming. But say, um, who's a, uh, Odegaard. If Odegaard gets a card, we get a five-star, five-star Martin Odegaard in the fantasy team. This dude could go up in price because he's, he's 87 fodder out of packs. We could see him go up a little bit. So just keep an eye out on some of the cards that constant drop could be a little thing to pick up. And then trading methods, guys, tomorrow bids. I think should be decent. It's Friday. I wouldn't expect anything maybe crazy, but I think there should be maybe some decent bids. And also trading, you guys know the fodder filters. We've been over them so many times. If you want to bid on 86s, you do a filter like this. Do a filter like that for 86s. You want to bid on 87s, you're going to do a filter like that. Um, it's as simple as that. You want to do 84s, your filter is going to look like this. Those are your bidding filters. Just pause on those if you want to see them. Uh, but trading methods as well, we've already... Oops, hold up. Filming a video. Filming a video. I'll call you right back. Love you, bye. I think she just went to say something. That's awkward. Okay. Um, bidding filters, especially I was looking on PC. Guys, if you're on PC, just, just learn to trade. It's really stupid. Like the the deals you can get on PC bidding on cards is crazy. This is the 10, 20, 30 filter. You just find cards with bids. And when you find a card with a bid, you look them up on Footbin and see if it's a deal. So we have a Perez right here. I'm going to look up Perez. And Thunderstruck Perez goes for 64K, 66K, just about 68K even. And you see here, he's got a 14K bid. So just hopping on filters like this. And it's not just 10, 20, 30. They're all the same idea. So you just... 
go through, wait till you find a player with a bid, and then try to get a deal. Now, current promo cards doesn't work as well with those. I usually look for older promo cards. A lot better deals there. You can go, you can do 10, 20, 30. You can do 30, 30. You can do 40, 40. You can do 100, 200, 300. That works. You can, you can just mess around. Just increase the buy now. That's really the main thing. Just make the buy now a bit higher. And um, wow, that's broken. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. Uh, bidding filters. Those are your trading methods, especially if you're on PC. Trust me, there are so many deals to be made. Here were some of the foot birthdays. I was bidding way too high on Sorloth to begin with. And I kind of want to see what this Perez goes for while we go and talk about expected content. So where are we at? Expected content. We talked about still no leaks. We have the Mo Salah probably getting a Pele foot birthday. Maybe Mbappe because he was expected to be in Team of the Week, but he didn't get a Team of the Week. So maybe Mbappe tomorrow. Um, and then tomorrow's Friday, foot birthday Team 2. Best of re-release Team 2. Expect a player SBC tomorrow. Honestly, I would expect an Icon SBC as well. And then Saturday, some sort of gamble SBC. Something needs to replace the 82 times 20. And then Sunday, Hero SBC Hopefully we get those repeatable icons though. Another repeatable icon SBC would be awesome. That would make some cards go up a ton, especially with fodder being so cheap. It would be a good way to increase it. Although it, it made low rated fodder move. So I don't know how much it would be increasing some of that higher rated fodder. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, comment section down below. My trading Discord, Twitch live stream description down below is... This, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to be waiting here forever on this Pyrrhus because these guys keep outbidding each other by one. But if you join the stream tomorrow, I'll keep this Pyrrhus in my transfer target so we can see how much it actually ended up selling for. That's it for this video though, guys. Any I already said that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.